that game. Man, that was just straight roller coaster. Oh man, 442 passing yards, four TDs, no interception, 80 plus percentage completion rating, 50 plus rushing yards. Crazy, man. Just crazy. I'm putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. It's like we've been saying, better and better. It just keeps getting better and better. First quarter, you can, in my opinion, I'm like. The passing, every time he passed, it seemed like it was being completed. But Greg Roman kept, we got to run the ball. We got to run the ball. Defense gets that, and they were going three and out, like, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, what is going on? Defense coughed up that one, that one play on the screen. I think it was like 76 yards or something like that. Chuck Clark had took a bad angle. He ran it into Jimmy Smith. I don't even know where PQ was. I don't even, I don't even think he was out there. I think they went like six DBs or something like that with that play. But, like, <sighs> then second quarter comes. Nothing. Really, pretty much nothing. I'm like, what is going on? Like, to me, it's like Greg Roman kept like, man, we got to run this ball. We got to get the record. And I'm like, Lamar is dagging them. Then when we was going into the half, they showed Lamar only had 11 attempts through two quarters. 11 attempts. He was like 7 of 11 or something like that. I'm like, why are you trying to force it? Obviously, they don't want their record to be ro broken on them. And on top of that, a lot of people were saying the Colts literally pre was like preparing for us for the longest, even before we even had to play them, they was preparing for Lamar. And I'm like, they know, they was like, we're going to shut this run down. We got to shut it down. So, going into, and the defense was just getting ran over, like, Bad, like PQ, he was playing bad. And then the announcers, they say even like the Ravens were saying, some people in the Ravens organization were saying Harrison was actually playing better than PQ. And I know Harrison is good sideline to sideline. I really haven't paid attention to his covering, but man. The coach never should have been running on us like that. Then I look at, <clears throat> then I'm looking at, okay, we're going into the third quarter. And I'm like, okay, halftime, change up the game plan, throw the rushing out. Let's just dime them, get back in this. Game still close. Let's get back in this. And we're still trying to rush the ball. I'm like, what's what's going on? They will make it down the field. Lamar fumbles. Which, that fumble to me, that was just like weird. Because he was, it looked, he was trying to tuck it in, but it was coming out of his hand at the same time. So I was like, God, dog. 
Coast ran it back, got a touchdown, then they called it back. Then they got a touchdown anyway. Carson Wentz drove them straight down the field. No problem. Touchdown. I'm like, oh, it is over. Lamar, okay, then Lamar came back and was like, okay. We're down like, I think like 6 to 22 or something like that. And it's like, okay, throw the, throw, throw the rushing stuff out the window. Let's, let's do this. We ain't got that much time. Lamar throws a 45 bomb to Hollywood. He was dagging him with Andrews, with Murray, Freeman a little bit, Williams, Prochet, Deb. He was dagging him with a lot of people, but mainly the two people he was dagging him with was Andrews and was um, Hollywood. And he gets that 45 year bomb. I'm like, okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Then the defense goes out there. Then they miss a field goal. The Colts miss a field goal more than Humphrey jumps. I'm like, why are you jumping, bro? That made me so mad at the time. I'm like, why are you? What? And that wasn't even their kicker. Then their kicker comes out, then he hits it. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Then they get 25. Lamar drives down the field. He's dagging them again. The run game is out now. Literally, audible, Lamar, just fast action, killing them. Boom, 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 boom. Just kidding them. Then he gets the touchdown with Andrews, gets the two point. I'm like, okay, we got this going. Let's go. Defense gets drove down the field again. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? But then the old boy misses it. No, no. That's when Campbell, Campbell blocked it, I believe. And I'm like, oh my goodness, is this about to happen? Like, you can see in my reactions, I'm like, is this really about to happen? Lamar drives down the field. Boom. Hollywood. Boom. Murray. Boom. Freeman. But they just tearing them up. He gets the touchdown. Gets the two point. I'm like, we tied up. Then I'm looking. I'm like, oh crap. He said too much time on the clock. Like, he literally can did all this work and the defense cannot hold up. Goes down the field. I'm thinking, could it be another block? Block doesn't come, but the kicker misses it. Then they show we going into overtime. Justin Tucker goes out there, a little shade, you know what I'm saying? Because Carson Wentz was out there for the Colts. But Justin Tucker goes out there and does it. I was like, that was a little shade. You know, for Harbs, like, hey, we got a kicker right here that can hit it. Our kicker can hit his stuff. You know what I'm saying? But then when we win the toss, they put the camera on Lamar and read his lips. You might have to rewind it, but read his lips. He's like, it's over. You can see it in his face. He's like, it's over. I'm like, oh, my goodness, he's in that zone. He's on another level. He wouldn't mighty more for time. And it wasn't no stopping him. That first play, I'm like, this dude is, he's already cooking him, but you can see it. He's like, uh-uh, not happening. Not happening. We're not losing. After all of this work, we're not losing. 
and he did his thing with the comeback. And the part that really tripped me out was on that play to Hollywood, the touchdown play, because he was just cooking him with Andrews and Hollywood seems like at the end. And uh, and they just give giving up the little sharp plays to the running backs. He just like, okay, we just keep getting up the field. First down, first down, first down. Y'all helping us out. But on that play to Hollywood with the t- touchdown, he looked off Leonard. And Leonard went to the middle thing, and Hollywood was going that way, and when Hollywood actually was going the opposite way, and he just darted that ball to Hollywood. Ah, oh, that was so. That was such a beautiful play. Such a beautiful play, man. And it's to me, it's common tuition, where just make him throw the ball, make him throw the ball. That's all he can do is just run it. That's out the window. That, to me, that's been out the window. He's getting closer and closer to what a lot of the media haters are afraid of. They're about to see a one of one of a, a created player, you can say, that can run and that can throw. And you don't know what you're going to do. And on top of that, you're getting weapons. His weapons has been upgraded. Keith Williams, T. Martin, our wide receivers are playing a lot better since the virus is gone because the confidence is up. Nobody's bringing anybody down. I believe Harp said that in the locker room. Even when we was down, nobody was talking down. Everybody, we got this, we got this. No give up in this team. And it showed. Now, there is some things we got to work on. Majority, to me, if the run game is there, not there, Greg Roman should automatically be like, okay, let's get this passing. Because once that passing start opening up, then that's when the run game he so cared much about can take off. And then on top of that, we get Bateman back. And that's going to be another weapon. I believe Sammy's going to miss some time. But the thing, because Sammy took a real hard hit. So, and they say he, he hurt his like, hamstring or something. So he might be out for a little while. But the weapons we have behind Sammy, since Sammy's been there, they've stepped up. They have my boy Prochet. Then don't forget Wallace as well. Boykin is back. Bateman is coming up. So it's it's about to be crazy. That old saying, Lamar don't have no weapons and stuff, that's slowly fading away. Because he already has his number one wide receiver in Hollywood. Got the number one tight end in Mark Andrews. Then if Bateman is that dude, he can have two number one wide receivers. And, and the only thing we need is just the defense to step up. Because they're getting ran over. Derek Wolf is not back yet. PQ needs to step it up. He's not playing too well. That's why I believe they start putting Chris Board out there for that veteran ship. Because he's a good run stopper. He's not a good cover, but he's a good run stopper. But then, like I said, we don't know when Derrick Wolf is going to come back as well. It's question marks on that. Ben Cleveland got injured. Question marks on that. But then they said they was rotating Ben Cleveland and all of that. So that's, like, solid. I believe they was backing that up. So, man, it's just, oh, man. 
beautiful thing. Now, there's still some haters, you know. Look on Will Corks and West Pass for 400 and something yards. He caught the L. He caught the L. Like, I don't remember hearing people talking about Carson Wentz as a running back. No matter what Lamar do, they going to continually move that goalpost. Because they know. Just a matter of time. The game was crazy, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it like I, as, as I did. I always respected the coach defense. Their offense... Eh, but the defense, I always respected it. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. God bless.